Carol Doak, and author of 60 Fabulous Paper Piece Stars. I'm here with another tip that I was asked to explain or share, which is how to take out the foundation paper once your sections and your block is done. I don't remove the paper until I've sewn my sections together, my block is together, and my block is joined to other blocks or other pieces of fabric to stabilize the outside edge. And the reason why you want to stable the outside edge is several of the blocks have off grain pieces and they're liable to stretch, which is going to make it more difficult when you try to join them later. So if you use my paper, Carol Doak Foundation Paper, you're going to find that it's going to remove very easily. Um, if you use the 9014 needle, and if you use the method of folding on each line to trim the next piece, it will remove very easily. Use a um, 18 to 20 stitches to the inch, which on a sewing machine like my Bernina that goes zero to five, that's about a one and a half. And so I'm gonna demonstrate with this little section that I sewed together because I don't have the whole block, but I just wanna show you how easily what I typically do in a block that's been joined is just tug diagonally like this. And you heard that just happen. Those two seams just popped. And now I'm going to tug in the opposite direction. And you can see those popped. And so here is the block without the foundation paper. So you see how easily that removed. Now, if you end up with a little tiny fleck like this, if I'm doing a full project, I typically take the, the quilt outside and give it a good shake and those will go out. I mean, they, those will just fall out outside. The birds like them for making their nests. But um, I don't worry about those tiny little flakes. They're fine. And if you need to, in between the seams where they're joined, I just take a pair of tweezers once the big pieces are out. It's just a matter of tugging them in between the seams. And it's something I do at night um, watching TV. I'll just go across each of the seams vertically and horizontally to pull out the strips in between. And so that's how easy it is to remove the paper. So I hope that tip helps and I hope you enjoy making your fabulous paper piece stars. Mm -hmm.